Hello everyone, my name is Noah, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Alpha 16, Season 2. Uh, just, uh, I just followed this road here. Like, I just took off middle of the night, went to here, and I just followed this road to try and see if I could find this. Because, uh, all this right here is all hill. So, this will not be a good spot for my base if I ever make it here. So, I decided not to make it here. I need to find more flat area. Like, up here, like, I just came up here, and it looks like it's just a little bit more flatter. It's not the flattest, but it's decent. But I would rather have something a lot more flatter than uh, a big hill. I've been trying to stick to the road because uh, I've been hunting for all those uh, trash... Uh, these trash piles right here and I've been actually uh, searching them if they're untouched and then destroying them because it's no point in having them in the middle of the road anymore because well since I have loot respawn off it's just not they're just gonna sit there and sometimes even fool me so that's why I'm just getting rid of them so if you go on if you see me on a road and there's not a lot of a uh, there's not a lot of a uh, trash things on it, it's because I destroyed them all. But anywho, uh, like I said, looks like this full loop, this road does a full loop. It probably goes all the way up here, so it's good to follow this road and at least uh, see where it leads, because you never know, it could lead to another trader, or it could even lead to another town. I've been not really so lucky though. Not really too much uh, decent loot. I haven't found any other schematics or anything. It really sucks that that one trader did have the SMG schematic, but then when he restocked, he got rid of it. So, I was bummed out, but that's the way how the game goes. You win some, you lose some. Okay, this is looking more... Uh, more precise like I like I like this it looks much more flat this is not too bad it is still slightly uh, sloped if it, if it has the possibility of actually being super flat then it would not be too bad Okay, looks like the fog is starting to lift a little bit. And also, we're making our way to that, uh, closer to that treasure over there. I hear a wolf, and I'm getting away from him. Some nails and a feather. Can make another arrow. Yeah, ever since the Alpha 16 uh, update, it's definitely made the biomes, like, uh, much more hilly. So, a lot more climbing than, than in Alpha 15. Yeah, this fog is really affecting my, my sight. Can't really see far at all. There's a businessman. And a dead businessman. Some more oil. That's easy. That's easy money. Oh, for skill points wise, I put another rank into sexual tyrannosaurus, so now I get stamina gain 60%. And I also put one uh, point on the treasure hunter. And I think I'm going to put uh, one more rank into the treasure hunter so that's what I'm saving my points for right now is to just get one more rank of that because technically uh, if you just have a good uh, mining tool you don't really uh, need a treasure hunter 3 because all it does is just increases your chance of finding it there we go also killing any other zombies on the way will help me rank up faster now the terrain it looks like it's all gotten all hilly again no nope, we got a big boy 
Not really interested in dealing with him. He does give me a lot of a uh, rank, but he does not is not worth the effort to kill him because he takes so long to kill. All right, I'll scrap that for now. Let's actually go and see uh, where this treasure is, and also how close am I to leveling up? Uh, halfway. Collecting more bird nests to get some more arrows and some more bacon and eggs. Apparently I don't have room now. So looks like I'm going to have to take this guy out in order to get some peace and quiet. Except I missed. Oh, you are really just... So I'm going to have to use one of these. And that's all you had. Okay, at least the med kit was not wasted. Okay, now that just took out my inventory. I don't know what to get rid of. Don't need those. I tried wrenching a car earlier and trying to get an engine, but it didn't turn out the way I thought it would. And also, searching all these will definitely improve my rank in scavenging. Probably a couple levels. Not to mention, if I find anything else that I want, I'm not going to be able to pick it up. Okay, that's not even worth it. It looks like it's down here. Because if it's in the snow biome, that's not too bad. Because if I get a bunch of snowballs, I can make a bunch of water. Okay, looks like it's in a green zone. Now, if it's on a hill, then that's not so bad, because there is sometimes a little glitch that can happen where it'll actually show where the, exactly where the treasure is. It's like just a glitch in the terrain. Another cave right here. I'm finding so many caves this uh, series. Anything in here? Jar of honey. Give me a nice uh, boost in stamina and also some health. Okay, that was, that's looking reasonable over there. Because it's a nice biome and... Oh yes, this might be the place. Because then I'll bring my... Uh, my... Uh, Land claim block. And a cave right here. Is it? Oh, it's the, uh, it's the, the possible Taza Stone Axe location. see if there's any zombies in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, looks like we're clear. But yeah, here's the chest. But I don't really want to search it right now. I do want to just wait a little bit. I just want to wait for my scavenging to be leveled up just a little bit more before I uh, actually do so. No working stiff with nothing in it. So yeah, just right near here. Uh, okay. And, uh, craft some arrows up. Now, if it's in flat ground, then, uh, well, I'm kind of screwed because now I have to actually search for it. But if it's, like, connected to this hill, that'll be a good bonus. Hey, how you doing? Take a blunderbuss shot. Reload that bad boy, and we'll pow. That looks like it'll be three shots. Hurry. There we go. Gotta hurry on that last shot, or else you're not gonna get him. Alright, yeah, it looks like it's not on a hill. Ah. 
Oh, could be. Oh, come on. There you go. Instead of using my first aid kit, I'll use my, uh... Oh, it could be on this hill. I'm gonna use a painkiller. And I'm super thirsty. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Well, it could be up on top here. Question is, what is on top of here? Ah, it's pretty high, actually. Oh, it's another cave. It's pretty big, this one. And what is this one? It's another, uh... Another one of these. Alright, well, let's bust into here. And just see what it has to offer. Is there any zombies in this one? Nope, doesn't look like it. Yep, and another one of these. I will not search it for right now because I would like to be a, a little bit of a higher scavenging before that happens. Because I would like to get a better one and not like one of those crappy ones. Ooh, a speaker. Makes an alarm sound when powered on. I'll just keep it in there just so I don't have to waste it. Alright, so let's uh, get a idea of where this treasure is. Okay, it does say it's on this hill. Well, oh, that's a steep, steep hill. Better be careful. <laughs> oh my goodness, this chest is going to be hard to find. Because it's on the hill and not, not the... Uh, And not the ground. Like, it could be possibly down in here as well, but... <laughs> That's gotta be the weirdest treasure location I've ever seen. All the possible being in here. Let's actually scrap this. Make some wooden planks. Alright, so it goes all the way to here. Okay, right now I'm just uh, putting down some uh, wooden planks, just to give me an idea of how uh, big the area is. Okay, it's, so it's right in here. Oh, really? Now, is there any possibility there's a hole here that I can see the treasure in? This might be a bad idea, but I would just like to see. No, it doesn't look like it. This would have to be the hardest treasure to find because you might have the possibility of finding it in this big mound here. And let me just uh, get rid of all this. This is definitely the one of the weirdest treasure locations I've ever have found. Like it could be just down in here, or it can be just all the way up there somewhere. So yeah, it has the possibility of being in this entire ground right here, just surrounded. But I'm not sure, uh, let me just make another one of these. Okay, so 
possibly all in here. The rest is in that mountain. Yeah, but I just don't see a hole up there. That's the only possibility that I think I f see, but that's not really a good one. And it looks like I'm on the edge of a derelict area as well. Alright, but uh, anyways, let's uh, head on back. Let's head on back right here. Because I believe this is where I think a nice spot to make my house will be. Okay, here's the other cave. Thought I saw another bird nest, sorry about that. This is actually pretty big he right here. Yeah, it looks like this doesn't look to be that bad. Let me just make uh, one of these. Okay, that's where it goes up on. Yeah, I would say right in here would be a good spot. So, I think this will be a nice spot for my house. Well, for my actual base. So, let me just get right on this dot. Alright, so that will be my house. Right here. And I'm not... Well, how far am I away? Uh, two kilometers? Just about. So two kilometers away from my original uh, base. But uh, I think this would be good right here. I think what I'm going to do is actually start putting down the... Uh, Foundation, just gather all the wood around here, and uh, then just uh, start my layout. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm just going to come back, try and grab some of my stuff, and bring it back here to start making my base. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!